Hi everyone, today my question is, uh, does the increase of technological surveillance improve moral behavior in the United States? Um, for the sake of clarity, I'm going to define the term technological surveillance as the, t um, the use of technolo uh, technology to surveil someone through the devices such as CCTV or um, monitoring their online activity. I chose the United States because it is one of the countries with the highest number of, um, with the highest level of government technological surveillance in the world. Um, moreover, as a society, um, the United States is the highest, um, has the highest percentage of people who believe that it is okay for the government to monitor um, the communications of a citizen. I believe that the increase of technological surveillance improves moral behavior in the United States. Jason G. Goldman, a science uh, journalist and wildlife reporter for Los An in Los based in Los Angeles, who covers stories in animal behavior, ecology, wildlife biology, and conservation, stated that we're so sensitive to being watched that even a drawing or a photograph of a pair of eyes can influence our decisions. And we don't even have to be consciously aware of these um, eyes. Uh, his opinion on human behavior is in conjunction with a study in 1976 on children being offered candy in Halloween. The kids, um, it showed that when faced with a reflection of their own face, even masked by Halloween costume, the kids were more likely to behave. Goldman shows that human behavior is affected by the knowledge of, obs of observation, um, whether the subject is consciously aware of this or not. The idea that people's behaviors can change under the conditions of observation isn't far-fetched at all. In 1937, Fritz Roethlisberger, a uh, social scientist, management theorist, Harvard um, Business School, published the first, his first comprehensive findings on the Hawthorne effect with his partner, William Dixon. Roethlisberger described the Hawthorne effect as a phenomenon in which subjects in behavioral studies change their um, performance in response to being observed. Therefore, if citizens being observed through the means of surveillance technology, um, their behavior or performance will change. The studies um, conducted set the individual in a social context establishing the performance of employees influenced by their surroundings and the people they worked with and not their, inherent, uh, their innate abilities. Furthering the notion that person's conscious decisions, and, um, uh, it's not their conscious decisions but rather the impact of the environment they're in. Thus it would not be the conscious decision of American citizens to be morally better when observed by the government and instead because of their case of surveillance. Technological surveillance has been at the forefront of national security in the last decade and a, part of, a vital part of America's defense against malicious activities online. Jonathan Shaw, a graduate of Harvard University and now a managing editor at Harvard Magazine, states that after whistleblower Edwin Snowden linked national security um, secrets online about mass surveillance, Shaw um, people became more, consciously of, um, became more conscious of what they searched online. Shaw explains how Google searches for terrorist-related topics um, decreased staggeringly after, uh, um, after they, the, they were aware of this knowledge, and online searches for other frowned-upon topics declined as well. In the last decade, the use of technological surveillance has increased immensely and continues to further increase with the intentions of improving national behavior. With the 21st century came, in, um, came advancements in, techno um, in technology, particularly the age of the internet and online accessibility. A once luxury was now a house commodi household commodity, ushering a need for further advancements in surveillance of such technologies. The government had been monitoring uh, the actions of American citizens for quite some time in secrecy. However, despite being exposed, the result was actually positive. Once the population had knowledge of the surveillance, um, they, began to, they began to change behaviors and act more accordingly. Thus, the use of uh, surveillance technology improves behavior in US citizens. The direction from now is only looking up uh, towards a vast increase of, of surveillance technology. Scientific American, an American popular, uh, popular American-based magazine with um, uh, contributors such as Albert Einstein published an article written by a professor and a PhD student about MI, from MIT Media Lab. The two scientists uh, address the future technology. 
particularly sensory technology. Sensory technology uses sensors, an already common technology, and linking these systems together in a web that could overlay an entire building. The technology would then be, uh, sense temperature, heat signals, sound, and be operated for 24 hours. This being live, you could check anyone's whereabouts within, um, in the moment and in real time. The two scientists stating that this kind of technology would redefine our relationship with surroundings and one another. You could link the system to an alarm preventing anybody from entering the building without triggering this alarm and you wouldn't even need locks on the building. However, as the MIT scientists point out, this, um, what is even more concerning um, is ubiquitous com um, computing has tremendous privacy implications. Therefore, if the government wants to implement such a method of surveillance, there would be serious questions about civil rights and human rights violations, and whether or not this is a breach of citizens' privacy. Natalie Shoemaker, a freelance writer at The Big Think, The Big Think being a uh, source delivered by experts in any given field, Shoemaker talks about how in today's society there's a great handoff with technology, and how, <coughs> sorry, um, and how that with all great uh, things in, of technology, we also have to deal with the downsides of our every move being watched and tracked. Gregory Blinkoff, a mediator, author, and since 1981, a firm advisor specializing in labor management at the University of California, Davis, said that people obey either out of fear or out of the desire to appear cooperative, even when acting against their own better judgment and desires. Therefore, if in the case of mass uh, technological surveillance, people do not consciously choose to be better and make better decisions. Instead, they are obeying authority and, um, of the rules. This use of surveillance technology uh, improves the behavior of citizens in the United States because they are subconsciously aware of the observation. Whether this is out of fear or not, or, uh, there is no free will, only human behavior. The future of surveillance is here. And the use of um, surveillance technologies is only going to increase in the future. The use of te uh, such technologies will usher in a new age of surveillance. Um, uh, so it will be the future of this industry. However, such advancements in pervasive, uh, in pervasive technology, will there, be, there will be many obstacles in human uh, rights violations and the citizens' privacy. However, there must be an, uh, we must find a more uh, less tyrannical regime style of surveillance. The methods, however wrongful, would be extremely effective at surveillance and altering the nation's moral behavior due to the consistent surveillance. I believe that the increase of technological surveillance will indeed improve moral behavior in the United States. Thank you. Well, um, I actually didn't know what I wanted to do at the start. Um, and I started with, uh, it was more of a topic on surveillance um, as a whole. And I didn't know how I was going to link that to the idea of um, perspective. <coughs> and so then I kind of had to think about it. And I Googled a lot. And I found that every time I Googled this, particularly this question as well, it kept coming up with the morality behind it and whether it's morally correct if we film someone or it's morally correct if we have all these um, ubiquitous like uh, surveillance technology. Um, but then I started to find that a lot more people were looking into the idea of whether it makes us better and I thought that that was really interesting because um, the idea that it's not actually our conscious decision to become morally better but instead it's a, a subconscious decision because we're uh, we're out of fear or out of just human behavior that we're being watched changes us. So I thought that was really interesting. And that's, um, I found uh, more on that than my specific um, link to just surveillance and uh, how it affects it, like crime, which is what I started with. So I went with moral behavior. Okay. And um, you talked a little bit about the surveillance versus privacy issue. Yeah. I think um, particularly with there's actually what I found when I was researching there's um, there's mass surveillance 
uh, like increase in mass surveillance that's happening all over uh, China at the moment. Um, there's a lot of uh, smaller cities in China that they're beginning to put cameras and CCTV and surveillance on everything because you know they already have a surveillance on their internet system there. Um, but they're trying to put cameras in as well, and I think it's it's kind of turning into a really big brother kind of uh, aspect. And um, it, they were putting it on, you know, they're going to see you every, uh, do everything, and you're based on like a point grading or something. And if let's say if the cameras see you jaywalking, or if they see that you've been talking against the government, your points go down. And the less points you have, you can't fly to certain countries. You can't do. Uh, you can't. You're not allowed to be in certain places or be in public bars and stuff. But then the higher points you are, the more stuff you get, and you get high points by being good towards the government or you're talking or you for instance you even if you use WeChat you get higher points um, so I thought that was really interesting and in how that could possibly branch off all around the world just because of um, countries using perverse surveillance to an extent that could just become extreme so yeah